Pacific Beverages is a joint venture between Coca-Cola Amatel and SAB Miller. Uh, SAB Miller is a global brewing giant, second biggest brewing company in the world, and has for a number of years wanted to enter into the Australian market. Part of that process was to, uh, in uh, 2007, was to enter the domestic premium market. And to do this, we bought a company called Blue Tongue, and the Blue Tongue, original Blue Tongue Brewery out of Cameron Park, was very soon under capacity. So the plans for this particular brewery where we find ourselves today started out of a lack of capacity there and also a desire to be able to take our uh, international premium brands, manufacture them locally to provide fresh product and also to enter the draft market in Australia in a more substantial way. As project director I had to first of all get my team together. Having defined what the scope is from our end users being the operations people, we then sat down and worked out what's the best way we can give opportunity for Australian industry but still get a competitive price. So we broke the works up into seven separate packages, which, some of which suited the Australian companies, some of which suited the European companies. So once we broke up the works, we then looked at the program and then that set the timetable for us to scope up each of the separate packages, went out to tender, evaluated tenders, interviewed and awarded contracts. Zeman and SAB Miller have a, a long and very positive history together. Obviously Zeman are uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, manufacturers of brewing equipment in the world. And certainly when we went out to tender on the project uh, a num across a number of different dimensions, they were very much included in the tender, particularly on the brewing side, but also specifically on the packaging side because it was an area they wanted to expand their own business into. Simon is actually from Ludwigsburg, Germany, so it's uh, close to Stuttgart in the south of Germany. Simon was founded in, back in 1852 by Mr. August uh, Simon. Back then it was a coppersmith workshop. We might call it a copper period and uh, back then uh, breweries actually exchanged the old iron vessels by copper because it's just a superior material for uh, heat conductivity. The brewery is a very complicated one with many, many different uh, products and different processing is required and the Zeeman solution was the best for purpose. New innovations always played a major role within the Siemens company. Uh, in the early 20s of the last century, Siemens started to manufacture aluminium vessels replacing wooden uh, casks. And uh, in 1965, Siemens actually commissioned the worldwide first fully automatic operating brew house. Special uh, capabilities of this brewery really are focused not only the brew house is nine brews a day for high gravity. Because we have so many different products, we handle a lot of different yeast types. Uh, we've got a lot of different um, adjuncts within the brewery. And also, at the back end of the process, we've got flash pasteurization, membrane sterile filtration, and deep bed sterile filtration. It's a very complex operation. We're packaging uh, 11 brands into 42 SKUs and uh, we put a lot of emphasis on accessibility to equipment, easy raw materials movement around the line and uh, to achieve an overall machine efficiency of 90%. We have a labelling process which is PSL, pressure sensitive labelling, as well as paper labelling or a combination of the two, which gives us great flexibility. We then uh, go into multi-packs on the back of the line, we're able to do over the crown, uh, neck through, uh, packaging as well as shrink wrap packaging or loose bottle packaging straight into uh, cartons. Simon Innovations today, uh, at the moment our engineers are working on waste minimization, uh, renewable energies and of course uh, energy saving in particular. Huge emphasis has been placed on having no water on the packaging line. so. We're only um, using lubrication on the, on the line on the acceleration and deceleration tables because uh, we're in a very uh, water sensitive area. In Germany, uh, Siemann uh, has actually a very modern uh, production uh, facility with 150,000 square meters and we are processing 6,000 tons of stainless steel annually there. But apart from the manufacturing side in Germany, we have as well uh, 
plants in India and China, all over more than 1,000 employees are working worldwide for the company uh, Simon.